This is Slade McClendon with Sunbelt Fire, and today I'd like to share with you the newest purchase for the Harrison County Fire Service in Mississippi. As we do a walk around, I'd like to share with you a few features about this particular Class A pumper. First is the chassis. This is mounted on a four-door Freightliner chassis. The engine is a Cummins 330 horsepower with an Allison EVS 3000 transmission. It has seating for five with four seats that are SCBA mounted for the firefighters to put their SCBAs in. As we look at the pump here, this has a Hale Q-Flow 1250 pump. First it starts off with its a three inch plumbed piping for a deck gun. It also has two inch and three quarter cross lays. This also has two two and a half discharges on the left side as well as one right intake on this left side. This truck is also multiplexed for the fire service as well. As you look at the body, that we will go into more depth in the body here in a second, but this is a three side high body over here. It has two SCBA compartments for this particular truck as well as the wheel work is stainless steel wheel work. Let's take a look at the rear side here. As you can tell, this truck has the newest chevron striping that is required for NFPA here. We, we will take a better look into the compartment here in a second, but I wanted to share with you the steps that allow you to get up to, to the hose bed here, as well as the two and a half rear discharge on this side. Now, as we get to the officer side, this is a half side body for right here. This allows for, obviously, their hard suction hose up here, their ladders, which are not there for right now, and then for their attic ladder. You, you also notice that they have the SCBA compartments on this side as well to put their spare cylinders in. We will also take a better look at the compartmentation here in a second. This will show you the pump side panel for this side, and it's actually showing you one two and a half discharge on the right side. You can see that this has the actual stainless steel covering for the fuel package, as well as steps to be able to come up on this side. So as we go to the front side, you can see the air horns are mounted on here, as well as the lighting that this is a federal signal LED light bar as well as all the lower level lighting is LED as well. So as I take you to this side now, I'd like to share with you what the inside will look like in the cab. This is showing you a quick snapshot of what the inside will look like. The SCBA compartments. This also has a raised roof in here that gives you a little bit more headroom. This will show you the visibility as well from, from the back side and the SCBA seating here. As you take a look at the compartmentation, this is a T-tank shaped tank inside the body. So you will see full depth on the lower side as well as 12 inch high on the upper side and then full depth on the rear here. So as we look through the rear here, that this is actually a transverse compartment through the rear. This can allow for the fire department or future fire departments to mount any type of equipment on here, roll out trays, or mounting brackets up on the walls here. Now you're taking a look at the rear compartment here and also seeing the full depth and compartmentation availability here. Again, this will show you on the officer side the full depth compartmentation here as well as the full depth compartmentation here. This has always been a great feature for E1, is actually our pump house compartmentation. Firefighters and technicians who ever have to work on this love this particular feature of the ease of being able to get into our pump housing. E1 uses a manifold system with stainless steel. All of our piping is stainless steel welded as well as um, hard flex hosing for shorter areas. Our stainless steel also comes with a 10 year, 100% warranty. This will show you obviously from the officer's side, the, the compartmentation here as well. I'd like to thank you today for letting us show you the newest truck that Harrison County inspect for what they needed. As you can tell, Sunbelt Fire would love to have the opportunity to listen to you and help you design your next apparatus that, that would go into your fleet. Thank you for your time and hope you have a great day.